I'm currently in Honduras on a job that has taken me outside of the country and everything that could go wrong basically has gone wrong. I've got a couple tips for you when shooting photo and video outside of the country based on my experience from this trip. Don't put anything of value into your checked luggage. For this trip, I've traveled to Central America to Honduras to tell some of the local stories and some of the amazing things that they're doing in the community. During our commute here, one of the individuals part of the team had to turn back unexpectedly for some personal reasons and his checked luggage went with him. When we did arrive in Honduras though, everybody who had checked their bags did not receive their bags and they were without them for a couple days. This meant they had no spare clothes, no toiletries, and none of their gear to capture what we came here for. When possible, try to pack just a carry-on bag. That way, everything's gonna stay with you. Yes, it does mean you need to pack a little bit lighter, but it's gonna be worth it because your stuff will always arrive with you. I make sure that I bring all of my gear and important items in my backpack and my clothes and everything extra in my rolling suitcase. This does mean that I did have to re-wear a couple items a few times, but that's okay. My personal philosophy is that I'm here to work and create something great, not look incredible. So it's okay if I need to wear a couple of items of clothing a few times or I need to do laundry in my sink. The trade-off to have less items of clothing but ensure that it actually arrives is completely worth it to me. So inside that check bag that got turned back was a tripod, a gimbal, a road mic, headphones, a boom, extra memory, and all the chargers for everything. Those are all pretty important things, especially since we were doing interviews. Bring backup items. Hard drives fail, cables break, and in our case, suitcases don't arrive. I was told not to bring any audio gear or tripod or gimbals because it was covered, but I knew that there was a small chance that something would happen. This is not the first time this has happened to me, so I made sure to bring some extras. In this case, I brought a pair of wired headphones, a road mic, extra USB cables, spare chargers, and some extra storage and we needed every single one of those items. When packing, I considered bringing a spare tripod and decided against it because of the weight, but in hindsight, it would have been such a great idea. We had to go to Walmart and get a tripod. It was okay, but it could have been better. For a boom, we had to get kind of creative and look above our subjects and dangle the microphone down or use a broomstick in some instances. Editor Davey jumping in here. If I were to shoot this project again, I wouldn't use a zoom and an off-camera microphone. The mic we were using is really high quality, but we had to get it really close to our subjects and it picked up all the background noise, including traffic and children in the background. I should have just brought these, which are lapel microphones, which can be clipped onto the person you're interviewing. They're small, they're easy to recharge, and the audio gets recorded right into the camera so you don't have to sync the video and the audio together afterwards. The point being, bring extra items. There's a 90% chance you're not gonna need it, but in that 10% chance that you do, you're gonna wish you brought it. On all of my trips, I bring a little pouch that has every type of cable I would need just in case something gets broken or lost. Me again. Since the trip, I've actually picked up this universal charging cable from Rolling Square, and it has all of the connections that I would need just in case something fails, and it's a pretty good backup. With this, I just need to carry one cable, and I don't need to carry a whole pouch of all these random cables. While packing, I considered not bringing wired headphones because why would I need them? I've got AirPods, but I'm very thankful that I did. Every interview we conducted, I needed these headphones and it was very important to make sure there was no ambient sound and to make sure that the sound level was correct. Arrive with a plan, but be prepared to throw that plan away. It's important to have hotels booked and locations aware that you're coming to shoot but be prepared to be flexible when you do arrive. Traffic is gonna be heavy, buses aren't gonna show up, and people are not always gonna be where they say they are. The evenings before each of our days of shooting, we would lay out the items that we needed to capture and build a schedule around how we needed to capture that. When we would arrive on location the next day, we would talk to our contact and make sure that our plan would work. Every single day did not go according to plan. Something needed to be changed and we needed to be flexible. There's many times on this trip where I felt overwhelmed with kids running all around me and not knowing what to point my camera at. I had to consistently remember to shoot wide, medium, and tight shots to make sure that I got something out of the short shooting windows that we had. Quick recap, keep the important things with you. Make sure that all of your essentials are in the bag that you travel with. Bring extra gear. Cables break, we forget stuff in hotel rooms, and the last thing we want to do on these trips is take our time to go find these replacement items. And finally, plan as much as you can, be flexible when things outside of your control do change. 
That's it for me today. I appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. I hope that you get the opportunity this year to visit some new places, experience some new cultures, and get to shoot some incredible footage along the way.